Okay, let's go ahead and connect your Fireflies AI account to make.com. It's really, really simple. First, head to make.com and you're gonna to want to open up a new blank scenario. Go ahead and search for Fireflies and then just select any one of these modules. I'm gonna go ahead and select get a transcript. I already have my connection to Fireflies AI. You guys are probably gonna see a button that says create connection or something like that. Go ahead and click that. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing and just click add connection. You're gonna to want to go ahead and name your connection. So go ahead and name it whatever you want right there, or you can keep it as default, myfireflies.ai connection. And we need the API key to paste in. So what we're gonna to want to do is head to Fireflies AI, log into your account, go over on the left-hand side to settings and then developer settings right here. And then underneath the developer settings that we see right here, we will find our API key. Go ahead and copy that and then go back to make.com and we're gonna paste that in right into this field. Select save and you have successfully connected Fireflies AI to make.com. If you want to send all of your transcripts automatically anytime a meeting concludes to a make.com scenario, that's just one make.com scenario, every single time, then we can create a webhook, custom webhook right here. So add a custom webhook module and create a new webhook that generates a new URL. Go ahead and copy that address right here. And then we're gonna go back to Fireflies AI and we are going to, again, underneath settings and developer settings, we are going to toggle this on, transcription completed. And then we are going to paste in that make.com webhook URL into this field right here and hit save. And then anytime that meeting is concluded, it sends some data through that webhook and triggers this module. And then you can get that specific transcript and then do whatever you wish to do with that transcript. As for this scenario, I know really quick, this is just a resource video for you guys. This scenario grabs the transcript of the meeting that just happened. And then it's first hitting my Google Drive and seeing if a folder exists for a lead, meaning the meeting that I just had is the person a lead, is it a client, or is it a partner, like a team member on my team? So first, it's trying to figure out if there are any folders for the lead. If it doesn't exist, then it goes down here. If it does, then it creates a new Google Doc and just pastes the entire transcript from Fireflies into this Google Doc and saves it to that lead's specific folder. That way, I stay nice and organized. If I ever need to reference my transcripts for any given person, I just go to their Google Drive folder and I will find all of the previous meetings and transcripts there. If it's not a lead, then it goes down this route and it checks Google Drive to see if it can find a client folder. If it does, then it does the exact same thing and it goes up here and creates a new Google document, pastes the transcript into that Google document and saves it to that client's folder. If it's not a client or a lead, then it keeps traveling down here and it searches Google Drive to find the partner folder. If it exists, then it will do the same thing, create the document, paste the transcript in there, save that Google document to my partner's folder. And lastly, if none of those are able to be found, then it must just be a one-off meeting with someone who I don't have a Google Drive folder all set up for. And I still create a Google Doc and paste in the transcript to that Google Doc, but I save that Google document to just a general folder of new meeting transcripts. So there you have it with Fireflies AI. I hope that helps.